YouTube? It is DWG, and I am back again with another banger. Thanks for calling Domino's. We are currently hiring. Our drivers have flexible hours, and at peak hours can take up to five or six deliveries per hour. Domino's drivers make an hourly wage with tips and mileage paid out daily. Need a side gig? Make more money delivering with Domino's. This call may be monitored or recorded. We'll be right with you to take your order. Did you know you can now earn piece of the pie rewards points when ordering online, over the phone, and in store? Go to Domino's. Thank you for choosing Washington or Domino's. How may I help you? <clears throat> hey, yes, sir. Are you the manager? Uh, I am not. Okay, can I speak to a manager? Yeah, we're going to get it. Okay. Thank you for holding us. Devin, how can I help you today? Hey, um, yes, sir. I am calling to let you know that I can't show up into work because my car battery fell out the car. Uh, who was calling? Um, I just know I can't well, I show up into you, work. I don't even know which employee is calling out. Is there anybody else that I could speak to? This is Devin, the manager. Okay, yeah, well, I was just explaining to you my car battery fell out, and I can't show up. I'm so sorry. There should have been another female that, there should have been another female to take my place tonight anyway, so it'll be okay. So is this Ruby then, or? Yes. Alrighty, I'll document that. Alright, I love you. I appreciate you. It on Hillsville Road. This is Emma. Are you calling to place a new order? Could you please repeat that? Are you calling to place a new order? Speak to a manager. In a few words, please say the reason for your call. Speak to a manager. Hold on while we get someone to help you. Thank you. The Domino's team member will be with you shortly. Calls are recorded for quality and training purposes. Thank you, Mr. Domino's Shadow. Hey, I'm so sorry to tell you, I can't come into work tonight. My car battery just fell out. I'm sorry, man, you're bringing a real bad. What was that? I can't come into work tonight. My car battery just fell out. Sure you have the right location? Yes, I do. Hmm. Alrighty. Alright. Thank you. No problem. Alright, May. Wait. Wait for the next available agent. Our most popular special features two or more large two-topping pizzas for just $12.99 each. If you want to view all of our best deals, please, your call is very important to us. Please wait for the next available agent. Please hang up and visit our online coupon page at dominoes.com. Your call is very important to us. Please wait for the next available agent. Other places are making it harder to earn loyalty points? We're stepping up the rewards for our members with Domino's new loyalty rewards program. You can now earn points faster and redeem them for even... Your call is very important to us. Please wait for the next available agent. More menu items. Earn 10 points on every $5 spent and redeem points after just two orders. 20 points gets you a free dipping cup, a 16-piece park rice, 
Please wait for the next available agent. Depending on strength, 40 points is good for an order of bread twists or stuffed cheesy bread, and 60 points gets you a medium two-topping pizza, pasta, oven-baked sandwich, or three-piece chocolate lunch. Your call is very important to us. Please wait for the next available agent. Our crunch cake. Plus, enjoy access to members-only deals, special discounts, and ways to earn bonus points. Get started earning those points today at dominoes.com. Free if your call is very important to us. Please. Hey, I can't come into work tonight. Um, my car battery ended up falling out. Who are you? I know there's two females working. He hung up on me. Are you kidding me? What? Bro, come on. See, y'all want me to do this, and it's just going to irritate my soul. Because these people keep hanging up on me. It's irritating my soul. Wasting my breath on these people. They don't even want to talk to me. Yes, ma'am. I can't come into work tonight. Um, The issue is my car battery ended up falling out. It was supposed to be two females working, and I was supposed to be covering somebody else's shift. But I'm very sorry. If y'all have to fire me, then that's fine with me. If you're like the manager or whatever. All right, have a good night. Yes, ma'am. I love you. Thank you. She had no for me. Enjoy the bloopers. Funeral home may help you. Yes, hi. Um, I have a couple of questions about um, possibly having a funeral at your funeral home. Mm -hmm. My husband actually passed away yesterday. Okay. And I actually have a very odd request, and people have been telling me that I'm crazy, but is there a way that before the viewing of the body, you could cut my husband's unit off and I can take it home with me? Can you hold on one moment? Sure, thanks. <laughs> Did I hear that? Hello. Oh, yeah, hi. I, I actually called a few minutes ago, and um, this really nice woman was helping me. My husband had passed away yesterday. Uh -huh. I called about 20 different funeral homes just mm -hmm. to ask if it was possible, before the viewing of my husband's body, if mm -hmm. I could cut my husband's unit off and I can take it home with me. Okay. My husband was only 39 years old, okay. and he died of a heart attack, and it's kind of like the only thing I have left. Okay. If I was to come in and do it myself, right. and I didn't know how I could do that, whether I'd have to bring in a baggie with me, whether it would need to be put in formaldehyde, how I would be able to, to cut it off. What, what well, if it's on him at the time, as long as it's on him at the time we embalm him, right? then it'll be embalmed, so you wouldn't need well, uh, to, to store it in formaldehyde. Has, but, uh, has this ever been done? Has anyone ever not asked? To, not to my knowledge. Do you understand, though, why <laughs> this is something that I want done? I right? can understand. I mean, I don't, I don't know what else to do, what else to save, and, and I haven't even told my family because I know they're going to think I'm crazy. So well, I this is something you wouldn't want to tell them. No. If you're going to do this, you wouldn't want to, you know, involve everybody in right. doing it. <laughs> and I figure that since the body's usually fully clothed and it's, it's, when it's viewed, nobody would know and nobody I would have know. to tell. Right. When it's embalmed, does that mean that it would remain in a stiff position? It would be stiff? Yes, it? Yeah, it would remain... Uh, it would remain preserved. Can I take it out, or is it something that I need to like keep in a bag? Um, I never thought about the, about storing anything. Uh, I would imagine you would need to keep that in a uh, some kind of container. Right. But, uh, you know who would be able to tell you would be our embalmer. Oh, he would. Our embalmer happens to be a female. Oh, she is she around? Is it possible for I, that I could talk to her? Hold on a minute. Let me see if I can get her on a two-way call. It. Thank you very much. All right. <laughs> Hello? Yeah. Jerry? Yeah. All right, can you hear her? Hi. Yeah, hi. I can hear her. Hi, Jerry. My name is Marianne. I was explaining to the gentleman that since you were the embalmer, that you might be able to answer some questions that I have. And what kind of questions did you have? He, now I'll try to help you. I had actually asked him if um, it was possible to cut my husband's unit off and, and save it. Oh, and my. it's kind of like the only thing I have left. Is this something that I would need formaldehyde for if I wanted to keep it? You would have to have some type of a solution that would be a preservative. What would you keep it in? I didn't know if I could keep it in a plastic bag, if I needed no, to keep no, it in no. a jar. You would probably have to have a sealed container. She's also wondering if it could be used. 
um, if, you know, if she could be, if it would be usable. And uh, that's why we called you. Yeah. I would highly doubt it. I mean, because he had said that if, if it was embalmed, it would always be stiff. No, because it's not attached to anything. Oh. And I would, I would not recommend it. Because you would have to use a, 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 some type of a, a preservative solution. Oh. And that's not something you would want to have immediate contact with. Is it something that you could mount? At maybe because you know how sometimes they stuff animals after. So you would see that's something you would have to get a taxidermist to, to discuss with. You. Okay. Now that might be a possibility that a taxidermist would want to stuff it for you. Is it something I can use if they did that? I, ma'am, I don't know. And then now I that, could, that's a question I can't answer. And if a taxidermist could stuff it, then could I mount it? I would imagine so, but those questions the taxidermist would have to address okay. because they could tell you whether or not they would do it, could do it, or would be willing to do it, and then they could tell you what the preservation procedures would be after they've done whatever they're going to do. And do you? I mean, is this something you would do? Would you save your your husband? No, uh -uh. no. I'd keep my memories. You just keep your memories. I'd keep my memories and move on. All right. All right, I think I'm going to I'm going to rethink think it because people keep telling me that I'm crazy. So I'm going to talk to my sister about it and make my decision and then you know, figure out what to do. But I want to thank you for your help because you've been very helpful. No problem and you take care and I wish you luck. Thank you very much. Hi. Celia Olson. Celia Olson. The Tower of Drafts been their long neck down for a drink. They've been in them nights. <laughs> and a dazzle of zebras, brilliant brown and white, blink in the hot sun. But the panther arrives by herself. The panther is a solitary animal. That silvery cloud swimming in the sea is actually a school of fish. I love the fact that we can't even see your face right now. <laughs> that splash and sounds. Behold, a fever of stingrays gliding by. They look like leaves. But what do you call a group of octopuses? Octopus. A tangle of octopuses, a chandelier of octopuses, a multi <laughs> a multipus of octopuses. <laughs> no. Octopuses prefer to be alone. The octopus is a solitary animal. The sloth. Oh, that looks like me. The sloth is a solitary animal, too. A swarm of swallows is called a gulp. Oh, oh my gosh, that book is so funny. A huddle of hummingbirds is a charm. Pigeons fly together are called a kit. <laughs> but what do you call a group of eagles? Nothing at all. An eagle is a solitary animal. The ground, she looks like a lonely speck. There's me, flying all alone. <laughs> but from up in the sky, the eagle sees all the world below. She sees not just dazzles, fevers, and gulps, but sloths smiling slowly and panthers stalking silently. The octopus is dancing by himself. They may appear alone like her, but they aren't, not really, for there is a whole world of solitary animals out there. Alone, together, happy. Next.